Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over cloud careers and all of the potential routes you could take. This video is going to be broken up into entry level jobs, medium, mid career jobs, and also senior level jobs. I just started a cloud job about a couple of months ago and we utilize AWS and Azure. I have since then found that I have a huge skills gap. I have been doing tons of different research on cloud computing, AWS, Azure, how it works, what careers exist, what skills are there. And what I have found is there's really not that much good material out there and nobody really knows what's going on. To begin, what exactly is the cloud? Essentially, the cloud is just IT extracted a few levels. For instance, networking still exists in the cloud. It's just abstracted and is usually a service instead of a hardcore whole domain. Do you need to know coding for a cloud career? And my answer is it would be very beneficial. So I have been learning about all of these services and I it may be time in my career that I need to learn just the basics of Python. You don't need to be a pro, but you do need to know the basics and how it works and how to modify code. I also see a lot of things. Do I need a networking background or an IT background? And the answer is no, you don't need to start out as a network admin. In fact, I would just learn the cloud and just skip over that part as these careers are usually a lot higher paying and they have a lot faster career growth rate. The most common entry level job for cloud that you usually don't need that much or no experience with is the cloud support engineer. And this is where you're going to be doing tier one work, troubleshooting tier one type of issues. You may be providing customers step-by-step -step guidance on how they can solve their problems. You could be documenting errors that have happened. You could be triaging tickets to send if you are not able to figure it out. After tier one, you could be moved up to tier two, then tier three. And these just vary in the complexity of issues that you are going to solve. And according to H1B1 data, this is actual visa data of what people get paid. The average cloud support engineer is going to make around 85 to $90,000. A really good AWS certification to prepare yourself to become a cloud support engineer is the AWS Cloud Practi Practitioner certificate. And this is also a really great place to start if you have no idea about the cloud. After early career, there are mid-level jobs and these are where you're going to specialize. So some common ones that I see is a cloud network engineer. Cloud networking isn't going away because you still need to have high availability. You need to know how you can connect one cloud provider to another. You still need to know routing and switching. Also, sometimes there are different zones, so you have to figure out how to get traffic from one zone to another zone. Networking is still there. It's just a little bit more abstracted and acts more as a service than it does in an entire domain. And the average salary for a cloud network engineer, according to H1B1 data, is around $160,000. The next mid-level cloud career for AWS is a cloud software engineer. And this is where you're going to be designing and developing different applications and services for say AWS. Maybe you'll be modifying it for your companies like infrastructure. This is extremely lucrative. And if you already have a software development background, if you just add cloud to your skill set, you could probably be making way more money than you currently are. The next common one is a cloud infrastructure engineer. You could be migrating on-prem to the cloud. You could be developing cloud networks. You could be working with different computers on different customers on how to maximize their workloads. The next AWS cloud career is a cloud security engineer. The one that I'm most interested in, but essentially it's just securing the cloud. Now that is also extremely vague as there are a lot of different moving parts that you have to secure. You could be ensuring compliance with different frameworks. You could be managing AWS firewalls or implementing web application firewalls and monitoring for false positives there. You could be a cloud penetration tester where you try to find vulnerabilities within the cloud. So anything that exists within IT and on-premise exists in the cloud. 
The next mid-level career is a DevOps engineer. This, this is probably the most popular job title, but it's essentially helping manage the tasks related to development and operations teams together. So they must be able to also manage the IT infrastructure, which is often code now. And oftentimes it's either developers who've moved into operations or system administrators who have learned how to use Python. Another AWS mid-level cloud career is an AWS data engineer. And this is essentially where you could be developing enterprise logging solutions and analytic capabilities by leveraging AWS data services. You could be designing and implementing streaming capabilities, leveraging AWS, SQS, and SNS. That is just a small portion of what you could be doing. Cloud is a very vast place and you could spend your entire life studying the cloud. So the senior level AWS cloud careers, I see the biggest one is a cloud architect where you're actually going to be designing the systems that you work on. Also, you could also specialize in any one of these and become a subject matter expert or SME in any one of these career paths like security, networking, databases, data analytics, machine learning, DevOps, and you could just specialize in that and then maybe even become a consultant to where people hire you solely just for your advice. I hope this helped clarify some of the careers that you could possibly start. Also, I do have a free course list below if you want to check that out. If you want to upskill and start your job in tech, check out this playlist, which is all about AWS and cloud and you'll be seeing more videos about it. And I will see you in the next video.